In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our text for today is Luke 23, verses 14 and 16. Pilate said, You brought me this man as one who was inciting the people to rebellion. I have examined him in your presence, and have found no basis for your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. As you can see, he has done nothing to deserve death. Therefore I will punish, and then release him. The lie to be addressed today is when the father of lies says, Avoid suffering for your Savior. The second habit of Franklin Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is to begin with the end in mind. The idea is that if you don't know what you want to end up with in a project or in life in general, you're more likely to be blown off course by the opinions of the people around you or to throw in the towel when the going gets tough. But when you have skin in the game, when you know what's at stake, you're more likely to stay the course even in the face of hardship. And so when it came to Jesus, Pilate had no skin in the game. He knew Jesus didn't deserve to die, he said as much in today's reading, but he was not so invested in that that it was worth the trouble to stop it. And so in the face of potential hardship or suffering, Pilate folded and he handed Jesus over to be crucified. We might be tempted to do the same. We might be tempted to listen as the father of lies hisses in our ear, it's not worth it. Avoid suffering for your Savior. But God be praised, we have a Savior who willingly suffered for us. He knew what was at stake, and so he endured the cross, despising its shame, in order to bring back his people for himself. May the Spirit of our God always hold that promise of salvation before our eyes, that we would always remember its worth, that we would begin each day with the end in mind, and that we would rest firmly in the hand of our Savior, no matter what life throws our way. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your sacrifice won my salvation. Help me to follow your call to daily take up my cross and follow you. In your name I pray. Amen. In today's Leaving the Lies activity, we remember that God does not leave us to journey through this life alone, but he surrounds us with people to walk with us all the way, to encourage us. So, find a way to remind yourself of the unity that you have with your brothers and sisters in Christ. Something as simple as holding hands with your family during prayer before dinner, or scheduling a time to meet with a brother and sister in Christ for a cup of coffee, remind yourself that you are not alone. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you all today and every day. Amen.